All remains as it did yesterday. Thank you both for coming! Uh, no problem. We were in the area anyway. What did you want to discuss with us? Director Topaz sent me to handle the Topaz Support Squad situation and the problems caused by the Aether Spirit. I've been told that the Aether Spirit is with you, so I thought it'd be good to have a chat with you about them. You've got the wrong idea. Please, just let me explain. Uh, how did you get out again? Ah, as I suspected, this is the Aether Spirit that Director Topaz spoke of. It's like this. This Aether Spirit was a museum piece held on Herta Space Station, which was later snatched by Topaz's support squad. To be precise, they actually belonged to Asta, the station's lead researcher. Initially, Director Topaz refrained from commenting on the support squad situation, but their actions undoubtedly created a predicament for the director. As a result, she ordered the squad to disband, but also ordered them to return the stolen ether spirit to its owner first. And that's pretty much the whole story. I'm sure you've noticed too. This Aether Spirit is unlike the others. They have their own unique personality, a mind of their own, you could say, which makes them very distinctive. It's precisely due to this fact that they escaped before they could be returned to the space station. Interestingly, they somehow managed to grab an Aether coin during the escape. The coin wound up in Bellabog and was found by a young boy from the Underworld. This clue was then subsequently uncovered by the members of the support squad. And this is where fate brought you and the Aether Spirit together. <laughs> I was wondering the same thing. Actually, the personality was a mistake made by the Ethereum Wars project team. While it's true that all Aether Spirit data is uploaded by players, the project team fine-tunes this data to ensure that each Aether Spirit follows player commands. However, this Warp Trotter somehow managed to bypass this process, meaning they were directly uploaded to the game server with all their personality traits still intact. Perhaps that's what drew Miss Asta to them, and why she decided to add them to her Ethercoin collection. head around all of this. Oh, let me get this straight. You're saying they're just like all other Aether Spirits, a replica of a real-life creature, and the reason for its unique personality is because of an oversight by the game's project team? Ugh. In any case, Director Topaz asked me to make sure Topaz's support squad returns this Aether Spirit to her to Space Station. That's why I specifically invited the two of you here, to make this request. I'm just hoping you two are willing to hand over the Aether Coin and Aether Spirit. Once we have them, we'll make sure they get to Miss Asta safe and sound. I promise, after the last slip-up, there won't be any more mishaps. You can be sure of that. I... Aww, I'm really torn. I suppose returning them back to Asta is the right thing to do. I just can't help but feel a little attached, even if they are only an Aether Spirit. What do you think, huh? What should we do? <laughs> oh, looks like this Aether Spirit has grown quite fond of you both. <sighs> How about this? You both press on. Take them along with you and go claim the championship. As for Director Topaz and Miss Asta, 
I'll explain the situation to them. Uh, are you sure that's all right? <laughs> Leave it to me. But remember, this is only a temporary solution. You'll have to make a decision eventually. I'm hoping this will give you enough time to have a think. Thank you so much, Mr. Wilder. We'll cherish every moment. <laughs> I was so close to bursting into tears. That would have been embarrassing. Nice to say. <laughs> uh, let's call it a day, shall we? And since we're in Bellabog, it means another night at the Goethe Hotel. Tomorrow we'll set out for the final stop, the Great Mine Victory Zone. Oh, the championship is so close, I can almost feel it. <laughs> huh. I can't shake the feeling that we missed something today. Uh, maybe I'm just overthinking. we can get. <laughs> Thanks for sticking with me through everything. Uh, let's do this. <laughs> Great mine, here we come. remains as it did yesterday. The Great Mine's just down here. The IPC should have the venue all sorted by now. Ready? <laughs> all right then, let's go get our ticket to the championship! As a support squad? <laughs> Just as expected. We knew you'd turn up here sooner or later. Come to challenge the final championship contender? I knew we missed something yesterday. Turns out I was right. We forgot to teach you guys a lesson. Oh, it's all your fault making us look bad in front of the director. But, since you're here... We'll be taking back what's ours. Yeah, they're not going anywhere. So, does Miss Topaz even approve of your so-called support squad? Ugh. Well, since you asked so nicely... But don't think we'll be taking it easy on you! Ugh. Yikes. Enough already. Don't make a spectacle. <gasps> that sounds like... Director Topaz! Making a mess wherever you go. I, I should have disbanded the support squad months ago. D -d 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 Director Topaz! We're sorry! We messed up! If apology.
apologies were enough, there'd be no need for a talent motivation department, would there? I received a report about your misdeeds. I may have to include the results in your performance reviews. Oh, no! That's for you two. Uh, Wilder has informed me of your situation with the Ether Spirit. I've spoken to Miss Asta. Uh, she proposed that the two of you should decide what to do with the Ether Spirit. Her only requirement is that you keep her updated. take this opportunity to enjoy the rest of the tournament. No need to rush to a decision now. <laughs> oh, looks like they think so too. Miss Topaz, what brings you here? Do you also play Ethereum Wars? <laughs> Correct, but I haven't come here to challenge a championship contender. The title holder of last year's championship, I've earned a place in this year's final. But my visit here today is purely to discuss matters with the event sponsor. There's been a lot of buzz lately about an elite player who's been making waves in the gaming community. I want to discuss the situation with Mr. Giovanni. Now that I think of it, Mr. Giovanni mentioned that the previous tournament champion was defeated by the elite player. <laughs> it's embarrassing to admit, but I did face off against that player. Unfortunately, I didn't quite measure up. So, who exactly is this elite player? I, I'm afraid I can't reveal that. Mr. Giovanni specifically reminded me to keep some surprises in store for you. fellow player, I can still give you some good advice, like how the mechanisms in this victory zone work, for example. Take a look. Simply follow this path, and you'll eventually bump into the guide for this victory zone. If you need any information, your best bet is to talk to the guide. Unfortunately, I've got a few other matters to attend to right now, but I wish you both the best of luck. Miss Topaz mentioned could have important information for us. Let's go find him. Credentials validated. Hello. Hello. Welcome to the Great Mind Victory Zone. Hello. Hello. I'm happy to assist. Allow me to introduce the puzzles for the Great Mind Victory Zone. A group of unidentified IPC workers who call themselves the Topaz Support Squad have taken over the victory zone, causing numerous problems for players. You must operate automaton spiders to trigger an explosion in their vicinity and disperse these disruptive people. Please be aware that if you approach the targets head-on, they are highly likely to cause damage to the automaton spiders. Thus, it is imperative that you detonate the automaton spiders behind your targets. To clarify, the explosion is purely optical and poses no physical threat. What does Director Topaz think about us having to take on her support squad? In response to your question, I am currently retrieving the relevant audio recording. You guys have caused me nothing but trouble. It's time for you to make amends by proving yourselves in the victory zone! <laughs> uh, 
Sometimes you just have to laugh at the absurdity of it all. This concludes instructions. If you are ready, please follow me to the first detonation location. Hey! The guide is on the move! Let's keep up! That support squad member is directly facing us. We must find a way of moving around him without being seen. Please, follow me. Multiple dispersible targets detected ahead. Granting operation access to Automaton Spider. Access granted. Please take control of the Automaton Spider and trigger an explosion to disperse the disruptive workers. Warning. If you approach the targets head-on, they are highly likely to cause damage to the Automaton Spiders. Thus, it is imperative that you detonate the Automaton Spiders behind your targets. Satisfactory. Maintain forward progression. Sounds like we did it. Let's press on. Multiple dispersible targets detected ahead. Granting operation access to automaton spider. Access granted. Please take control of the automaton spider and trigger an explosion to disperse the disruptive workers. Be aware, automaton spiders may only be used once. Trigger explosions when targets are grouped closely together. Maintain forward progression. Uh, I've got to say, this puzzle is pretty unorthodox. Multiple dispersible targets detected ahead. Granting operation access to automaton spider. Access granted. Please take control of the automaton spider and trigger an explosion to disperse the disruptive workers. Be aware, automaton spiders may only be used once. Trigger explosions when targets are grouped closely together.
completion satisfactory. Maintain forward progression. I think I'm starting to get the hang of this. Someone there.
completion. Satisfactory. Maintain forward progression. I think I'm starting to get the hang of this.
multiple dispersible targets detected ahead, granting operation access to Automaton Spider. Access granted. Please take control of the Automaton Spider and trigger an explosion to disperse the disruptive workers. Be aware. Automaton spiders may only be used once. Trigger explosions when targets are grouped closely together. Oh, look how many there are. Better make sure you choose the moment to strike. Don't let me down.
two workers blocking the way over there. Oh, look at them. Standing there like statues. It might be tricky getting around these two. Please, remain calm. I have a solution. What? A mine cart? W what's brilliant? Come on, say something already. Aww. Hmm. Oh, I get it. <laughs> For once. All right, it's like this. All we need to do is load the robot onto the mine cart. Give it a little push, and then kaboom! They'll never see it coming. What do you think? It's the perfect plan. Congratulations. You are correct. This is the optimal solution. Granting operation access to Automaton Spider. Access granted. Please take control of the Automaton Spider and trigger an explosion to disperse the disruptive workers. It's all up to you now. Catch him by surprise. Congratulations. Please maintain forward progression. crisis has been resolved. You may now challenge the championship contender. Transmitting championship contender coordinates. Transmission complete. May your path lead to triumph. Well, looks like this is our last stop. Time to make a move.
never doubted you two would show up sooner or later. Your enthusiasm is truly unmatched. As the sponsor of this event and this Victory Zones Championship contender, it brings me great joy to see you here. Wait, wait, wait. You're not even a little bit surprised by this? <laughs> now I see why you've made it so far. <laughs> truly impressive. I imagine before our final bout begins, you'd like me to answer some questions. Who is this elite player? What exactly is my connection to them? Are you finally going to tell us? <laughs> oh, patience, Miss Marge. Did you ever wonder why the Ethereum Wars Gaming Association chose mastery marks as a requirement for progression? The answer is actually quite simple. In order to claim the title of champion, one must demonstrate the necessary strength and resolve to surpass others. And the same principle applies to asking questions as well. If you truly wish to question fate and learn the answer, then defeat me in a duel and show me your unwavering resolve. <laughs> Strong as she says you are. Why she holds you in such high regard. Time to see if you're as strong as she says you are. Just give it up!
I see why she holds you in such high regard. Truly impressive. Oh, what a riveting jewel. I, Giovanni Di Giorgio, humbly concede. Uh, hey, slow down. We still have questions that need answering. <laughs> no need to worry. Even if you had forgotten, I had my answers at the ready. So, who exactly is the elite player? <laughs> I can assure you that it is not me. <laughs> I am bound by an agreement to keep her identity confidential. So, what's the special... 
special connection between you and the player, then? The answer is... There is no special connection. <laughs> Simply put, this player wanted to meet you both, and I happened to possess the means to make this happen. Therefore, we came to an agreement. She provided the ideal festival for me, and I would be responsible for taking you to her. Who could it be? Going to all this effort just to meet us? Oh, we've met so many people on our journey. There's no way we'll be able to narrow it down. <laughs> I can't reveal any more. If you want to know the truth, you must first take this mastery mark. Take it and enter the championship. Show the universe your strength and resolve, and you will surely find the answer you seek. Mr. Giovanni's right. We got all the Victory Zone mastery marks. All we need to do now is wait for the final showdown. Ready. Let's do it! Time to end the mystery once and for all! Someone there. Yeah.
Just give it up! Give it up! 